heard that I can't retire employees at 65. Is that true? It is. With the removal of the default retirement age in October of this year, you can't automatically ask people at 65 to retire from your business. There are limited circumstances when you may be able to justify um, a retirement. And in those circumstances, you need to just be very, very careful as to how you're doing it. As an employer, what should I do? As it stands at the moment, what you should be doing, if you haven't already, is have a look at your employment contracts, because obviously if they have a specified retirement age in them, that needs to be removed. What you should also do is have a look at your employee handbook and your policies and procedures and make sure that there is nothing in there that relates specifically to retirement ages. What you also need to think about is any employee benefits that you offer to staff to make sure that you're not discriminating against anybody sort of 65 or over um, and talk to people about those benefits, particularly if they're insurance based, then talk to your insurers. Why should I train the managers? Your managers are actually the linchpin, if you like, within the organisation. They're the link between you and your employees and they're dealing with them on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and if there are any elements of discrimination that are creeping into your organisation, they should be able to deal with it and stop it. Um, and obviously there are risks to the business if a discrimination claim is made through an employment tribunal, because if you lose, that's uncapped and it could cost the business quite a lot of money. But also they're managing performance you know, with people and they're setting your standards and expectations so that people are actually achieving them. How do I manage my staff going forward if no one retires? They will retire. I think society at the moment is still geared up to people retiring sort of 60, 65, so I still think you will find people are leaving the organisation. However, what you might find is that people want to work more flexibly. Um, and actually I think businesses should look at that as an opportunity because you may be able to meet client demand in a different way than perhaps you are able to at the moment. But also, you will then retain skills, knowledge and experience within your business that can be passed on to more junior employees and therefore continue to provide the service or product that you do in the way that you want to. What you also need to do is to make sure that you are continuing to communicate with staff about what their plans are, irrespective of their age, whether they're coming up to retirement or whether they're starting out in their career, because again, that would actually benefit you and also the planning that you may need to make within your organisation. I would look at sort of the removal of the default retirement age as an opportunity to revisit policies and procedures, set in place sort of flexible working and empower your employees to achieve the standards and expectations that you want from them.